All right, this is Mike back again. Now we're uh, taking a look at the Juiced Cross Current S, and this is a 2021 model, so it's a little bit cosmetically different. It's actually a Cross Current S2, which you can just barely see in the color matched. It's very understated. Um, this is, kind of circle around here, I have had to put just a standard aftermarket rack on it, and it works with my panniers, but it is not as ideal of a fit um, so it did require some bending and strapping to kind of get it right where i wanted it works great and they do offer one from uh juiced so you don't have to you could get a tighter fit than this if you went with theirs but that was one thing i really liked about the uh, magic cycle uh, a little higher end componentry but still shimano um, this is an actual branded buffang um, hub motor and it is um, supposedly spec specifically for um, juiced 750 watt rating, but you know it, it feels like it. But at the same time, numbers can be a little misleading sometimes on these. You really have to get into the math and the the the, the technicality of it to know what you really got in there. Uh, a couple different body uh, bottle mounts. Battery is uh, pretty sharp. How it fits into here. Um, well integrated as well. Again, cross current S2, they make a cross current X, which is a little higher end. But this comes with a really nice, very large 52 tooth chain wheel up front. So you can, uh, you can really get easily above the 28 mile per hour um, power assisted limitation. You, I've, I've had no trouble pedaling well into the 30s with the max assist on, on relatively flat surface. Now this is a 29 inch wheel bike um with the uh with the smaller diameter tires it's not a fat tire bike like the magic cycle and it's really ideal for commuting it's not nearly as much of a trail bike but it, it handles its own on gravel trails fine um i did put their factory seat back on it just to uh, sort of compare apples to apples um, i do have my own phone mount added here this is a nine speed system rather than the eight and they include a little bell but you attach it separately display is definitely simpler smaller but um it's uh and it uses a thumb throttle which i personally like having it on the left and not on the right i like to have my shifting and my throttle separate from each other but it's a very capable system but the display is much much simpler than the magic cycle um very boxy stiff frame they do offer different sizes so that's one difference there. Um, again, a, a very beefy aluminum frame. Uh, comes similarly set up. The big difference here, in addition to the fact that this is a, 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 a similar battery size, but with the tires and the weight is being a little less, you're going to get a little more range out of it. Um, they spec Tetro name brand hydraulic disc brakes. And that is a very big difference in terms of feel to me. Um, again, I feel extremely confident riding in traffic at, you know, traffic speeds in the 20s um, and knowing that I can stop very, you know, safely. I can stop abruptly. I can feel like I'm a bit more maneuverable. So um, that's a personal thing, but something to consider. Also comes with nice paddle type grips and they are locked in. A little bit higher level of uh, levers and things but overall you know, metal connectors but overall a similar bike to the magic cycle they're not drastically different in the uh, hardware componentry um, a nice led light and this one is a bit more powerful than what comes stock on the magic cycle but what this does not come with is a uh, a rear light of any kind i have my own little aftermarket one there um but I really do wish that, considering that I commute in traffic so much, that to have an actual lever-activated brake light would be a nice touch, and that is something Magic Cycle included. So I give them a, a little thumbs up or an advantage on that. Um, so I think I've covered kind of all the features of the bike itself. They're similarly spec'd in terms of rated power at 750 watts. 52 volts both of these which is relatively unusual in the marketplace still 48 is more common 
I'm a big fan of 52 volt in terms of how much kind of gives you more power feel torque out of the bike as well as uh, you get a little more effective range if you use it well um, but it really gets the most out of the motor and they both have similar amp hour size batteries this one there's there's an option to go 19 amp hour on that but my commute's only about 20 miles so i'm fine with this range um, this bike overall is about eight pounds lighter than the magic cycle so they're in the same range and i think most of the weight difference is in the uh in the wheels and tires so jump over here to the magic cycle it's just it's just a beefier bike overall um it does have you know a larger hub um the housing itself so you're getting a little weight there but you're also getting a very solid stable ride and again extra extra credit for the rack i really like the rack fenders are a personal thing i left them on here for the uh, purposes of the showing what the bike looks like out of the box i don't use fenders myself but it doesn't hurt if you have a wet commute um so um, again 52 volt good thing to know because uh, a lot of the bikes in this price point and that this bike would be compared against are 48 volt bikes and i give a lot of credit to magic cycle for going to the 52 volt investing in that so that pretty much sums up where we are with the bikes and we'll get to the riding.